Hello and welcome to today's video in which we're going to look at basic circuits and we're looking at an end circuit. We're looking at the end circuit in four different programming languages and for this I have prepared two push buttons. Right here, two push buttons. I've got a red one and I've got a green one. Red is in my right hand, green is in my left hand. You can see those here. If I press red, red is true, green, green is true, both, both are true. Here we go. I've got those. <clears throat> Let's look at this in the first programming language in the so-called ladder or, or ladder diagram, LAD. All right, LAD, ladder, ladder diagram, whatever you want to call it. Let me make myself a little bit bigger so the screen is actually used. <clears throat> so in ladder in this program in TIA portal, you find on top there are some favorites here and to create an end circuit, this uh, ladder diagram looks like an electric circuit. We have just normally open contacts. I want two of those. If they are in series, uh, this is an end circuit. And I want an output a contact. This will be M00. This will be just be some internal memory. Doesn't matter. We're turning something on for testing. Test LED. And of course, here as the both inputs, what do I want? Of course, I want my both push buttons that I already have pre-assigned. I want my left hand and I also want my right hand. Right? I can download, I can test. This is an end circuit, one of the basic circuits. You will need it more, more, more. If you want a third one, a third end condition, you can just put more and more in series. Right? Four, five, six, seven, no problem at all. So how does that look like right now? I have my two push buttons again. <coughs> green left hand red right hand if i press the red one you see it will turn green which means the status of it is active which does not mean it needs to be pressed it could be that it is the signal that this sends this sensor here sends a signal one whenever it is pressed it could be also when it's not pressed right but right now i press it it sends a one this one closes this one here too but if i press both you see the output the test is also active. If I release any of them, right? If I only press one, it won't be active if I press both. And there we go. That's an end. And this one and this one. Pretty simple, right? Uh, let me put those maybe in my pockets here so I don't have to. Yeah. That's LAD, letter diagram. If you need more, you just put more and more in series here. Pretty simple. Next language is FBD, function block diagram. FBD, function block diagram. It looks a little bit more simple if you ask me, but if you have really huge networks, it looks very, very big and a little bit clumsy. You can lose the overview. The good thing here is you have on top this end, right? You just click on the end and there you have it. This is an end operation. You just put your two push buttons. Um, I forgot what the names are, green and red. And on the output here, you can put whatever. I put an assignment, an equal sign, because I want to push this to an output. Uh, te test FBD function block diagram. Right, quick download, quick test. Here we go. Already have the green one in my left hand, and you see whenever I press it, the little leg will turn green, indicating hey, that's a logic one. Right, same for the red, that's a logic one, and you see I can press either, nothing happens if I press both. Here we go, output is on, pretty simple. <clears throat> um, this is probably one, of, yeah, this is probably the most used language in Germany uh, because, well, it's simple and you have a good overview. The rest of the world ladder diagram is taken the most because every electrician can read this, pretty simple. <clears throat> Next language, STL, statement list. STL, statement list, looks a little bit different. It's, it's in text form. And the first thing we can already see on top here, eh, we don't have those pre-configured um, things that we can use, like an end connection, like a normally open contact. We have to construct this program on our own. And that's also why we have the language, because you type and you, you hammer it just in. In our case, if we want an end, we can just type an A, and then we say the variable that we want to use. In our case, this was right hand, end, so another A, left hand right equal sign for the assignment equal let's take m02 <clears throat> a new one that i just created which is test in stl 
So in STL, we see those two ends, they belong together now and they are pushing it here. Let's see when we download, this is actually a little bit interesting here. <clears throat> Not too simple anymore. We have two results here on the right side. We have the RLO and the value. The value, the value here, this stuff here, right? The value is the current value of the variable. So if I now press right hand, the red one, you see the value turns true, right? If I press this one here, you also see the value turns true for left hand, right? Right hand, left hand. And we also have a second one, the so-called RLO, result of logic operation. If we have an end and only one input and right hand, it's only this, if I press the right hand, the result of it will be true. If I have another end, right? This one here, this one is now looking at this and at this, so at both. So if I only press the green one, the value will be true, but the result will still be zero. To get the results to one, make a guess, I will have to press both, right? And then we're pushing this result also to the next line and we are assigning it, right? So we also uh, always have a result and the value of the variable. Right. Good. That's a statement list. The next and last language we're going to look at is the structured control language, which kind of looks a bit, a bit like C or any other high language uh, or higher programming language. Um, and you see again here on top, we have our favorites. And um, if we want to evaluate, we can take an if condition, right? And here we just have to type in what we want to have. Here I want to have right hand. I can type it in and it should give me, yeah, it should give me also the variable. And I can then type end, right? And is a keyword and left hand. If those both are true, right? If this is true, then do this here. Right? And in this statement, we want to have, um, for example, M0.3, I guess it was. Those two dots, it's a colon, is it a colon? Those two dots, it's a double point, right? Those two dots and an equal sign for assignment, right? This is an assignment. We want to have one or we can also write true, same thing. M0.3, it does not want me to do that because I cannot uh, create any new variables here. So let's say I'm just using one of those that I already had, doesn't matter. Right? I'll just rename it, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just for testing here. Uh, CL, that's S, that's the programming language called SCL. So let's see, download, load, and done. Let's go online. And in here, we don't see much when we are online, right? We don't see much. If I press, you can't see much because this is really going here uh, line by line. So it's not really for observing. This is a higher language. We can see it here on the right side if we want to. That's not really what it's used for. You can see, um, but this you have to get from the right side. It's usually far on the right. If I press the red one, you see right hand turns true. If I press the left one, you see left hand turns true. And of course, if I press both, bop, you see the result from those two is true. So if right hand and left hand, then turn the result to true. Right? That's, here we go. So that's um, an end, a very basic circuit in four different programming languages here. Um, hope it helps a little bit. Uh, if you've got a question, leave a comment below. Um, if you're here from my other videos, usually that I do, this is not the complex stuff that I'm doing here right now, uh, but I'm unfortunately on a business trip. So I prepared those videos and I don't have much time this week, unfortunately. <clears throat> there will be other videos, they're all prepared, but they're all not basic knowledge, but important knowledge as well. Yeah, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.